Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm here with Mubi from Umbrella Corp Airsoft. It's a team in Hong Kong with 60 people. They've been around for six years, I think, and they play CQP every single weekend. So they're really specialized on that one, and that's the guns they're using. So today we're gonna talk about how they build the pistol, what's important to them, and what makes them so special. But before we talk about pistols, why are you using only pistols? Why are there no assault rifles? Um, well, with the pistols, you're gonna get the speed that we, we need in our CQB games, our style. So it's all about being efficient. Umbrella is all about being efficient. They don't care about, they do care about looks obviously when I yeah, look at this, yeah. but it's all about being efficient. Realism doesn't count, it doesn't matter. It has to be accurate, it has to be fast, it has to be usable. So right here, we just take one of them. Uh, as you can see, they all look very different. They're very fancy, they're super customized. They have very, very expensive. One of those pistols is up to 3,000 US dollars probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But they all share a very, very similar idea, which is being as effective as possible. So how about the slide? Why is the slide cut? What makes it special? Well, the slide, this one's cut this way, is because it's to um, make it lighter. It's, again, with the efficiency theme. Uh, it's all about being light uh, for yeah. this user. Um, even the grip itself is, is cut a little bit, just to, even wherever they can take that advantage. Yeah. So it's, you can tell. Just keep the weight down as much as possible so when the gun recoils, the weight that's brought back is very light and you're gonna be able to stay on target. You know, with a real gun, you go in all kinds of directions. The umbrella high cappers, they're super steady. They're kind of like an HE, they just don't recoil. What I've also seen is that they don't go as far back as usual high cappers do and they don't even lock into the slide lock. Why is that? Um. That's, I would have, I guess that what you're getting at is a short stroking. Um, it makes the return of the slide quicker so that the next shot can be faster or faster coming out. So we can do uh, rapid fire more, um, I guess more frequently. Uh, put the pressure on the opponents more. Uh, it sounds crazier, so it can surprise other people. Uh, uh. What I also see is that most of those pistols are having tracers on. For those of you who don't know what's a tracer, it's this unit right here. They're using glow in the dark BBs. There's a little LED inside here. When the BB leaves the barrel, it's glowing so you can track where you're shooting. So why are you using traces on every pistol? Uh, well, there's actually multiple reasons. One of them, as you were uh, getting at, is that it glows and it's easier to track. So you do miss your first shot, which we prefer not to. It's a lot quicker to adjust and, and take that second, third, fourth shot when needed. Um, on that topic, it also allows us to know when we actually hit our target, so we don't we try, we can reduce uh, the amount of excessive fire as well. Um, we know sometimes it happens. And then thirdly, it looks great on video. It's just another reason. <laughs> that's why I'm using it. <laughs> What's also good about it, I mean, that's what I figured is, people are less likely to cheat if they see the glowing BB coming towards them. You know, sometimes you don't feel the BB, maybe yeah. you also don't hear the BB, but you see the glowing thing coming at yeah, you and you know that you're hit. Yeah, it's bouncing off, so less cheaters with tracing units. What I also see is that the max welds are extended, I guess that's for faster reloads. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I talked to the pistol tech once of you guys, and he said that he wants the pistol to be ready always to shoot, no matter how he grabs it, you know, maybe he grabs it a little bit sloppy, but he gets surprised, he wants to shoot, and then it has to work, he doesn't need the grip safety. Once he's in the field, once the magazine is in, he should be able to shoot. What I also see that a ton of pistols have is the flashlights on the bottom. Why are you using those? Well, the flashlights uh, do their obvious job of uh, shining light in the dark areas where needed. As well, uh, what you'll find is that it's also really great to um, obscure, blind your, your, your opposing team when you shine the light in their eye. Um, and that's what we use them for. So the switch is right here in front, so when you shoot, you grab it like this. And yes. you do you also do like a stroke that you... Um, auto. So oh, it's already there auto. we go. Right. So why are all of them looking so different? You know, when I look through those, I don't even see you can you can buy them like this. I mean, here we have a, a 
go like right in the grip. This <laughs> seems to be polished by hand. It's all, it's super customized. Why is that? I think it's, um, it's the result of the love and passion that we have in Airsoft. Um, it, it represents our, our, our individuals, the players themselves, each of them. I mean, they put four tons of time in designing them, and looking for parts, <laughs> and lots and lots of money. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's, it's really just for the passion, I think. Uh, let's have a look at some of those. I mean, when you look at, which one is? This one here, I talked to the owner. The slide here is custom cut because he wants it to be as lightweight as possible. As you see, he removed as much of the extent. He removed as much of the excess possible to make it as lightweight as possible. It is short stroke, so yep. for the follow-up shots, we have the umbrella logo. engraving right here, the logo. And when you pull the trigger on this one, it's just you don't even touch it, it's already shooting. <laughs> so Double quick and light for that. Yeah, seems good for some follow-up shots right there. <laughs> so my personal preference is more military looking guns because I, first of all, I have to be camouflaged as a sniper and if I use this thing right there, <laughs> it doesn't yeah, work. Fine. Yeah, it's standing out too much. But I get that you're playing very fast, so camouflage is not that important. I mean, you're wearing all black, which is good in CQB, I think, yeah. especially because some of the walls are completely black. But that's not the pistol I would use, but man, in terms of performance, I would use that. Okay then, thanks for the rundown. Uh, now to mention this again real quick, we're talking about around 3K US dollars for each pistol, so we're having a rough value of 50,000 US dollars on this table, just to show again how much passion I have for the hobby and how much money they are actually putting into it and time to customize them. So thanks again to Movie for joining us and explaining some of the high caps here. If you wanna check out how they are built, and if you want to know more about Umbrella Corp, Airsoft, their team and what they're doing, the links to their social medias like YouTube, Instagram and Facebook is linked in the video description.